Hello there, Bruce here. Well, today it's mad scientist time. <coughs> this is a tea light electric lamp. I've never seen one of these before. A good pal of mine brought it over because it doesn't work. So what you do is you light the uh, you light the little candle and you close it up. And I think it's got a thermocouple in it that puts out voltage and so I'm trying to find out what's wrong with this thing excuse me so hopefully can you see the meter not quite eh so this is actually the um, tr transmission of the voltage up to the light and we're on DC volts of course So if I go across the bars, I get 2.4 volts. I think that's enough to light the light. This is, this is probably an LED in here. And this is supposed to come on and be quite bright. So now we're going to see why this won't light. I'm going to take it apart and I'm going to put 3 volts across the LED just to see if it... Uh, if, it, if I can manually light the light up. And it all folds down into a nice little packaging. And uh, anyway, it's a unique thing. So I know I'm going to see if there's a bad connection between the bars and the light or the light itself. So wish me luck. But I think the thermocouple works. I thought maybe the thermocouple would be no good. But we've got three volts across the bars. And three volts should be enough to light an LED. <laughs> the stuff that comes in, I tell you. So we'll, we're going to take this apart now and see if I can light the light. Wish me luck. Okay, I think I found it. On this side, there's the tab that connects into the lamp. You can see it goes right inside there. We'll just... And on this side, this tab is broken. So if I can cut this up and reconnect it with solder or something, it'll be a go. So let's take this apart. I'll even use two different trays for, for junk. Ah! Right there. Look at that. The ground wire is broken. So now I just have to figure out some way of getting this. <laughs> oh, I'm feeling old. Getting that through to there. And then soldered back onto there. I might just solder a wire onto there and then do all my repairs inside the hood. Now on the red side, which is probably the positive, you'll see that uh, they both connect onto the tab. So I'm going to get a piece of black wire, solder these two together, and then uh, extend the black wire through there. So I'll just get my soldering iron warmed up and get some black wire. Okay, the first thing we're going to do is 
uh, attach the wire to the tab and then stick the wire through the hole over here. Can you, you, know, you can see that. So I'm going to tin this first. Uh, <laughs> I might have to stick this in a vise. Can you see that? It's right there. I'm going to lay the wire onto that like that. solder it. Might work. We're going to connect this wire to this wire to this wire. So we don't need a lot of length. Good. Now I'd like to do a linear splice, but I don't have, well, I might have the room. I can't use heat shrink on this because the wires are too small and the heat shrink's going to shrink on, onto, the, onto the insulation just from residual heat. So I'm going to just use a piece of tape. Hopefully you can see this. We'll do this in steps. So when you're soldering, always start with a little bit of solder on the end of the soldering iron. Heat up the element you want to, the item you want to solder, and then just pull it along. And then us old timers, we lick our fingers, and that's it. I think I'll trim off the excess later, if there is any. Are you still with me, guys? distance reading between the positive and the negative just to make sure I don't have a dead short. There's the red there. There's the red there and the black there. Open one way and if I flip these leads around I might get continuity because of the diodes. Nope. Okay. So now I'm going to see if I can get this put back together again. Now we just take a short little piece of tape Wind it around there. Okay. Now I want to see if I can get the lights to come on. I'm assuming that the red is positive, which is this one. So I'm going to use three volts.
Okay, negative and positive. Let's see if we get some lights. Are you ready? Yep. Look at that. So that's step one. We got lights working. Alright, now I'm just adding some crazy glue. Super glue, crazy glue. And we're just going to line the holes up and hold them. I wonder if that's going to work. I'll just hold that for a few minutes. I'll be right back. Okay, I gooped all this. I used automotive goop to get that back in there. So now I'm going to put the lid on here. Do this a step at a time. I don't want to break what I've done, right? Okay, tubes, I got it fixed. I hope. So now, the instructions say, the owner was nice enough to bring the instructions. Light this for 45 seconds and then close the door and the light should come on. I don't know how long it takes. What's our voltage at? Two volts. Two point seven volts. All right, well, I, uh, I guess that's called a contraption. Well, isn't that the strangest thing, eh, guys? Well, we got it. Okay, we're gonna. This, obviously, the hotter it gets, the more voltage it puts out. Right now, it is. Can you see the meter? Two point nine volts. I think that's as bright as it's gonna get. Okay, thanks for watching, dudes. <laughs> You just never know what's going to come into the shop.